Yellow viewers, welcome once again in another episode of African Confessions HD right here on Extraordinary Africa. If you are still new in this show, we publish lifetime confessions from anonymous people. Without wasting much of your time, let's go straight into today's confession. Hello, admin. Can you please withhold my identity when publishing this story? I grew up in Nairobi, Kenya. Yes, I believe that Juju is only in Africa, but that was not. My parents moved to the United States for work when I was still seven years old. They wanted me to follow after finishing high school. They wanted me to learn African culture. They wanted me to know more of our relatives. I finished high school and moved to the United States. Truly, I thought Juju is only in Africa. When I arrived here in Washington, I thought I was now free from witchcraft. I spent two and a half months at Warm. I applied for a short course at a local college, got accepted and enrolled. At that college, there is this lecturer. The man was so cruel. He hated me to the most extent. He hated me and could not finish a lecture without racially abusing me. Mocking my skin, mocking me in person, sometimes calling me a black baboon from Africa. You are not a human being, but a black being from Africa. It was harsh time for me. As people with little experience of colleges in the area, I didn't know I have gone to a wrong place. We knew it after I was told by a friend who was residing in Kenya. I told him that I joined a vocational training center. He researched about it and later told me that the college is known by high cases of students who went missing, mass shootings. I thought he was jealous. I blocked him on all social media platforms. I blocked him on Facebook. I blocked him on Telegram. I blocked him on WhatsApp. I didn't know I have blocked the man who was trying to save my life. We closed for festive season. Holiday, to my surprise, the following term, the lecturer came back liking me than anyone else. Everyone was even surprised by the love. One day, he sent me to his office. That's when I knew that Juju is not only in Africa. Juju is not only used in Africa. Juju is being used everywhere. Uncle, any unusual thing came out from his desk's drawer. At first, I thought there was a kid inside the thing. Uncle, I realized it was not a mask. When it clapped me, that's when I realized that it was not a kid. I feel the pain when I think of the items clap even up to now. After it clapped me, I started not to know what I was doing, only to wake up at a dump site. I never returned to that college. From that incident of being clapped, stayed in the street for two days till my father found me. My father's work match told us about the college. It's a satanic institution. So now I see the lecture and the thing in my dreams. My relatives don't believe it. They think I'm mad. I want to go back to Kenya, but my parents are refusing. They say I'm mentally disturbed, but I'm afraid to die. Please publish my story. Please publish my story. That was a confession from you, my brother. Uh, it's a lesson to us. I think we have learned a lot from your confession. Wherever, whenever you are going, you should do a proper research before. You should do a proper research before doing anything you want to do. Uh, it's one of the lessons we have learned from your confession. Also, we have learned that wherever, whenever you go, never stop praying. The devil is at work. The devil is, is at work 24-7. The devil is everywhere. I think it's a lesson. Remain focused. Remain faithful to God whenever wherever you are that's one of the lessons we have learned as of you my brother i think you need to remain focused you need to pray and fast you need to pray and fast 
find a God-fearing church. But as of now, I will give your confession to comment section. My people, let's help the brother. He is in his own exile. We need to bring him out. Yes, we need to bring him out. The brother is suffering. The brother in, is in exile. Relatives and family are not understanding what he is trying to tell them. They think he is mentally disturbed. Yes, it exists. Yes, it's, it's, it's happened in life. So, we need to help this brother. That was the confession for today. Thank you so much for tuning into our channel. Don't forget to leave a comment. Please don't forget to leave a comment. Let's help these people. I beg you, let's help these people. Thank you so much. Have a good weekend. Hope you enjoyed. Bye for now.